What's up, everybody? Puck Mike here, back with another video. Today, opening a box of 2021, 2022 Synergy. That's right, $100 box right here, guys. First time breaking this box featuring eight packs per box three cards per pack base set is actually pretty interesting because they're numbered to 12 then you have legends subset as well numbered to 12 rookie subset numbered to 22 so we'll be looking for that cool call field there base red parallels as well those are one and two packs not actually a big fan of that design overall in the hobby box you're looking at eight of those base red parallels three synergy fx inserts five inserts so a star of the show roaring 20s and or postseason brilliance four inserts of the exceptional stars phenoms and or futures three inserts of rookie journey and or synergistic duos not a huge fans of those ones either but overall there are some really cool inserts in this box that you can get there's also these cast for greatness inserts you can get autos in here too i think it's something like one in 80 packs pretty cool stuff like i said first time breaking this thought it would be fun of course as always do me a favor like subscribe leave me some comments below let's open it up now and see what we can get all right first pack up here what do we have it looks like so we got cards going a little bit every which way all right we have looks like a base red rookie of jack drury not too bad there that one's okay check out the back of that one and of course you have this you know almost like a die cut so to speak so it's made of almost two different materials i guess a cast for greatness this is actually like uh, a metal almost i guess card of jake Gensel. All right, I would have preferred a different name. I am a Penguins fan. I'm actually not a huge Gensel fan. I think he's a good player. He obviously would not be the same player, in my opinion, if he wasn't playing on Sidney Crosby's line, but still a good player. And let's see what this last one is. This is one of those synergistic duo cards. Pedersen and Miller. 357 out of 999. So that's not bad. Two Canucks that are probably still going to be around for a while. At least Pedersen, I would assume. Yeah, that one's kind of cool, actually. All right, next pack here. One of these red parallels, it looks like. Uh, of Vasilevsky. And here we go. We got uh, exceptional stars of Tyler Bertuzzi. This one is 378 out of 899. 378 out of 899. Not bad. That one actually I like. The clear cut material. That one's a good one. And then we got a Quentin Byfield here of the Rookie Journey. Still some upside with Byfield. And it is numbered 499 to 999. Plenty of, plenty of upside. I have some of his cards I'm going to still hold on to. Definitely dipped a little bit. I think people expect Expected a little more out of the gate, but definitely not a bust at all, in my opinion. So if you got some of his cards, I would personally hold on to them. All right, next pack here. Upside down pack. Got a Matthew Barzell. And exceptional futures of Tanner Janot. 261 out of 899. Another one of those kind of clear-cut ones. Yeah, that one's cool. And then we have... Here is a nice Roaring Twenties. Trevor Zegris. Uh, very cool. This is another one of those hints that you can get. Not so great on the edge work. That doesn't look like mint unfortunately but hey decent card not a bad design that one's actually kind of cool as well all right and robin Salo. actually never heard of him on the rookie base red there i think mason mctavish synergy fx 606 out of 749 yeah very cool and uh, i got a star of the show of philip grubauer that one um that one's okay not my favorite insert but kind of cool shiny card all right next pack here got a uc saros pekka lukanen nice uh uh, 747 out of 749 almost the last one i thought this was the purple maybe for a second it is obviously purple but i think the purple's numbered to a lower number like 275 or something like that still a pretty cool card there and then another roaring 20s here on the back of jack hughes all right that one's a little bit better condition than the zegris one very cool another base red rookie here of riley dimiani oh, if i'm saying that right and exceptional futures anton lindell that one's number two 499 all right and then what do we got on the back here Look Looks like a star of the show. Nikita Kucherov. I was hoping for a signature here in this box. Next to last pack here, so running out of time on that one. Pooley RV, um, that is numbered to 899, 363 out of 899. I think Pooley is probably going to get traded, and I think, honestly, he'll do good on a team. He just needs a fresh start. Honestly, a team like Pittsburgh might actually be a good place for him. I don't know. See if they can make it happen. If it happens, I'll say I called that one. All right, this is uh, Synergistic Duos. Mark Shifley and Kyle Connor, numbered to 499. And this one 
one looks like the red parallel here, obviously, as you can see the red behind there. Let's get a look at the back of that one. That one's pretty cool as well. All right, last pack, guys. Let's see if we can get something good out of here. A signature, come on. Got a rookie of Nils Lundquist, Adam Fox, Synergy FX. That's numbered to 749, 183 out of 749. And then very last card of the pack, Postseason Brilliance. Another insert you can get, and that's Carey Price. Good condition on that one. Would have hoped for a different name uh, just because Carey Price is not really playing right now. I'm not sure what's going on there, if he's going to be back next year. He said he wants to play again. What, he had knee surgery or something like that? Overall, guys, definitely a fun break. I wanted to do this because I never did it before. I do like these designs. You know, I'm a little bit critical of some of the designs for the other Upper Deck products just because it seems like, I don't know, they're gimmicky or cheesy or they're being lazy, you know? I actually think these designs are really cool. I don't have a problem with most of these inserts. For the price point of the product, though, only getting 24 cards. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Only three cards in each pack. Probably could use a few more cards, I think, to get the true value. Definitely not going to probably make my money back, that's for sure. Cool box. I would probably do it again. Wouldn't rush to do it, and definitely not my favorite product, but decent stuff in here. This one's actually cool. Wish it was a different name, but decent stuff. Wanted to do it. Please stay tuned this month. I got a ton of cool stuff coming up. Got the boom box, wax box, series two supposed to be coming out. Also going to open Trilogy 2 if those aren't pushed back and delayed. Thank you so much as always. Like, subscribe, leave me some comments below, and I'll check you later.